Okay, this is Critical Discussions, episode 18. And yeah, let's just get into it. And the first news is that uh, Jordan Peterson is a bit of a moron. Nothing new really here, I guess, for a lot of people, probably. But um, yeah, we're starting with this one. Because um, despite the fact that he is doing some good things, like fighting cancel culture, sort of in, in the West, in Canada, and just in general in the West, United States, things like that, um, he's absolutely brain dead in his sort of positions about Ukraine, about Russia, and basically all the things that he says... Uh, all the things that he said basically show that he doesn't understand that region whatsoever. He doesn't understand what he's talking about. He doesn't understand the the culture. He doesn't understand the difference between Ukraine and, and Russia and where one state wants to go, what the other one is doing, and why you should never, ever um, kind of let Russia get away with this, this whole war. So he's done this... Um, He's done the psychologist this, um, on Piers Morgan interview back in September, actually. And uh, things that he said basically didn't pan out whatsoever. So this is just a good reminder for people to, like, on, on aspects of, like, politics, especially, like, geopolitics, about, like, r Russian war um, in Ukraine, things like that. Do not listen to Jordan Peterson, because if he's a fucking moron who doesn't know anything he's talking about, about this, um, about this particular topic, right? I will leave a good um, your Medan Press article in a description, but I will also like check these clips, just a Dr. few, Joe just a few little, uh, in. just a few little sort of snippets that Jordan Peterson has said that are completely stupid. Okay. I I don't I just don't understand I don't understand that. Well, what do you mean we're going that Ukraine is left in a smoking ruin? Mm. Oh, that's a victory. So, and so here we are. Yeah. Assuming that we're facing an environmental, I think talking when, about, when Putin went into Ukraine, I thought. He was talking about the cold winter. With, with Ukraine in ruins. The Russians are going to lose somehow. I speak to that. But I do know that naive notions that the Russians are going to lose somehow. First of all, this like naive notion that Russian will lose somehow. Um, this man apparently doesn't know history whatsoever. USSR, the basically predecessor of Russia, the same imperialistic garbage state, uh, lost in many fucking battles, many wars. They fucking lost before World War II. They lost to Finland, a very small nation, just bordering Russia. They lost there a shit ton. That actually uh, sparked sort of uh, changes in the military in Russia before World War II. And that, actually, some at least historians attribute, attribute that particular loss to Finland, to actual like huge losses in like manpower during World War II, because the actual sort of commanders in chief were not capable, really, were not like good enough to actually uh, fight against against Germans effectively. And they were all they were doing is just throwing bodies at the problem, basically. So when Peterson says that Russia can't lose, it is so brain dead that you don't even need to go like 70 plus years before. Russians lost in Chechen wars, for example. Uh, Russians didn't do particularly good in Afghanistan, for example, right? Like there's a lot of like fucking examples when where Russians didn't do particularly well. And uh, just saying that Russia can't lose, both because they have nuclear, so brain dead. And Probably. he actually Why? said about we it. Wouldn't respond? And he said about it that he'll use a tactical battlefield weapon, even yes. tactical nuclear weapon. Um, any, any, like even vaguely, remotely sort of knowledgeable person who even like read like I don't know one paragraph on Wikipedia would know that tactical nuclear weapon on the battlefield will solve zero problems whatsoever for Russia. Zero. Yes. Okay. You can kill simultaneously whatever. Let's say a thousand people or something like that. Uh, it will not solve your problem whatsoever. You will, okay, maybe you choose to, I don't know, send like five of those bombs. Okay, you will kill like 5,000 5, people. That will not solve the problem whatsoever. And now, now, you will put a really giant crosshair on your head 
from everybody from across the whole world because now you've used nuclear weapons on a battlefield something that even china doesn't ever fucking talk about uh, and and they're like you know doing these attempts of like recapturing taiwan and things not doing these attempts but at least like talking the big game you know that taiwan is is ours and you know doing all the fucking exercises, military exercises, all these kind of things. No one ever talks about nuclear weapons. And and I think Putin understands that, that the second he presses that button, button, he's dead, basically. Because now it's like up to the whole world community to actually kill that guy, not actually to bring him to the fucking Hague Tribunal and, and prosecute him in a legit way. No, now, now people can say like, you know, whatever, like $100 million for the head of that man. Because because there are some certain limits that you do not cross ever. First of all, don't start fucking wars in the middle of Europe in 2022. That would be one. And second, don't fucking don't fucking even think about using nuclear weapons, especially when United States intelligence and UK intelligence basically is in your house because they knew about all of your fucking movements prior to 24th of February 2022 about all of your shit that you were thinking that it's kind of a, you know, secret game that you're playing. American intelligence knew all of it. So if you're thinking that you're going to escape, basically, and live your long life in fucking Argentina or something like that, as some Nazis did, tough luck. It's not going to happen. So it's it's remarkable that Peterson doesn't even understand that fucking part. It's saying. Yeah. How do I would do in his shoes? Mm. I'd wait till the first cold snap. He said that that uh, if he was in Putin's shoes, he would wait till winter and then turn off the taps uh, to uh, to Europe, turn off the gas, turn off the oil, things like that. The problem is, once again, we're talking. This was released September 22, 2022, um, September twenty second. The thing is that Putin did blow up Nord Stream by himself in 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 attempts to intimidate Europe. It didn't fucking work, did it? Because now Europe basically switched uh, almost completely to others, uh, other sources of of gas, liquefied gas from gas from Norway, uh, Denmark, things like that. Europe is fine right now. Even Germany, that were like w- was the big problem basically. Germany is fine right now. I think like what like third um, of the energy came from Russia before, uh, basically like September something like that. And uh, now almost nothing comes from Russia, or, or zero, I think, uh, comes from Russia. So Peterson doesn't understand even the basics of these like economical kind of things and, and energy resources that countries will switch. And look what's happening now. Like uh, not only like Europe was buying right the the most sort of resources from Russia, but Russia was selling there, obviously. And so if you look at from the other perspective, Russia will now lose a shit ton of revenue from energy resources, which uh, they are, they were, that, that's like the, the largest part of their budget, exporting um, gas and, uh, and oil. And oil embargo even is not like in full capacity right now, but obviously they're, they're going there, they're getting there. So Peterson doesn't understand anything. Like he might be a good psychiatrist, psychologist, whatever the fuck he is. He might write some books and talk some fucking Christian shit. Uh, but unfortunately, he doesn't like. He has a big presence, you know, especially in the minds of like younger male audience. But he's not as smart as he thinks he is. He even said uh, about well, climate not- change that he doesn't believe. We'll that- see. I don't. Think- we'll see. I don't think so. It doesn't, he even said in that, this interview, imagine that you would put in place measures that, that, assuming that we're facing an environmental crisis of planetary proportions, which assuming is, is not something I buy, by the way, which is something that something that he doesn't buy. Every fucking measurable statistics, every good scientist, every legit legitimate scientist will tell you that there is a legit fucking warming of the planet and if nothing else climate change but warming of the planet due to man-made activities due to our fucking production and burning of fossil fuels and he's saying he in 2022 at the end of 2022 jordan peterson who's supposed to be one of the fucking smartest uh, brightest fucking men of our generation saying that he doesn't buy let me just rewind it one more time this is the most catastrophic issue here 
assuming that we're facing an environmental crisis of planetary proportions, which is not something I buy, by the way. He doesn't buy that we're facing a crisis of global, global proportions. How can, how can you even like, he, listen to the man after this? On anything, really. Because he literally undermines, undermines just his credentials as a knowledgeable person. Because not, a, not any single fucking sane, knowledgeable person would ever say that climate change is not real, nothing, like, nothing to see here. I, even from my own experience, I am not a fucking scientist. I don't have like a doctorate degrees or anything like that. From my own lived experience, I know that when I was growing up and up until like 17, 18 years of age, so up until the, the 2008, for example, we've had winters in Belarus, almost all of them, up to like minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, minus 25 Celsius in Belarus. Now... I have winter with plus six, plus seven. Two years we've had good winter when the whole world stopped. 22, 2020, 2020 and 2021, when the whole world stopped and stopped polluting. We got again minus 20 fucking degree uh, Celsius winter. If you're telling me this is not correlating, uh, it, it, there is no correlation between the fucking all the shit that we're burning all the cars, all the fucking factories, all the shit, then what, what is it? What is it? How, how can it be that literally, just as an example, in two years, basically, the production, well, kind of, at least not stopped, but slowed down, at least the travel definitely stopped, and then suddenly, we're back at cold winters, and now, 2022 to 2023 winter, the world is back normal, basically, and now I'm having a winter of plus five, plus seven degrees it's like going from minus one, plus seven. I've never had winters like that. It's January right now. What the fuck? And this guy, it's, it's like, I don't know. Does he live in Canada? Does Canada not get in any effects of, of that nature? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. But the whole world definitely does. Some regions get hotter. Some get maybe colder. I don't know. But there is definitely a climate change. And if he doesn't feel like this is a fucking catastrophic, I don't know. He must not... I don't know, watch the news, not watch the fucking all the flooding or fucking earthquakes or whatever. Like if he doesn't if he doesn't get that all of these things are, are correlated, have some correlation at least. Maybe not direct causation, but definitely fucking strong correlation, holy shit. But I think there is a causa causal uh relationship there. Anyway. Like threatened. First of all, this is Hitler and Stalin were very singular type. Well didn't go but didn't go of terror over them. Oh yeah, but and in a way, that's what Putin's now doing with. Them. Yeah, they yeah. want to take his own going the way he is. Authoritarian states like made a very s straightforward case that you can't have a totalitarian state unless every single person is willing to lie about everything. All totalitarian state is actually the grip of the lie. Else, yes, it's like yeah, well, and what Putin. Uh, whatever. It's like it's not particularly interesting. Uh, this this whole interview of him, and it's just like six minutes basically. But the fact that he doesn't even and and once again, I'm gonna leave the link to the article where like um, it's it's being sort of um, discussed kind of in more detail, especially his his sort of um, his uh, comments like none of us gave a damn about Ukraine, none of us does, not, uh, none of us have ever. Um, got any any damn damn about it and uh, things like that like it's it just shows like how how for some fucked up reason he's fascinated with like the russian and like dictatorship totalitarian states uh and how he doesn't understand that we are living in or should be living in a lawful society uh world lawful society right where one country cannot just invade just because they want another country uh he was propagating the same kind of garbage that basically like Russian propaganda is he's literally like some of those points are from like Russian fucking propaganda like Ukraine is Russia's sphere of influence Western expansion has caused the war basically uh, which is garbage of course because Ukraine is a sovereign nation it has nothing to do with Russia even though uh, if they want they can have this sort of they can use the same language and there are some uh, obviously shared experiences in the past but for Ukraine 
uh, most of those experiences weren't that particularly good. They were okay, sort of in the last whatever. Well, before 2014, it was m- more or less all right. Uh, but after that, obviously, Russia is uh, fucking is a state that is at w- at war with Ukraine. So what what it has to do with West? Nothing really. Ukraine wants to be in NATO. Ukraine wants to be in uh, European Union. It has nothing to do with with the West. It, it only in a sense that the West sort of shows more potential, and the West is more appealing to normal people who value freedom, who value democracy, who 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 value basically law, the rule of law, and who wants to live a good life. Right in this in this sense, yeah, Western West caused the war because they're so appealing that even the country from ex USSR wants to be in the West, not with this USSR bullshit shit. This is insane that that supposedly once again, like I'm repeating myself, supposedly presumably one of the brightest fucking men of our generation says this garbage, repeats the garbage shit. West is morally corrupt, Russia defends Christianity, family values. He doesn't, apparently, he doesn't know anything about Russia if he says that. Because the amount of, like, um, because the amount of crimes inside of the family, like, man beats his wife, the wife beats his man, all this kind of stuff, is insane. Divorces are really kind of... um, uh, they're not prohibited, obviously, but they're they're societally prohibited in Russia, in Russia, in Belarus. I don't know. I think maybe in Ukraine it's l- less than that. But, it, but in any case, even 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 with all of that, so so basically, if, if man beats his wife, especially if they're living in like some smaller cities in in Russia, wherever, uh, it's not so socially acceptable for her to, to just go and divorce him, basically. So she must stay with him, and and often often they do. These women, they stay with their fucking husbands, abusive husbands, things like he doesn't know anything. If, if that's if that's a fucking Christian value, you're a fucking bad Christian, I feel like. And and then uh, domestic violence rate. And then um, even 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 what I said that divorce is not l- really socially acceptable. I feel like w- I, if I'm not mistaken, one in two still get a divorce after whatever, like five years or something like that. Um, ob- also. Just because he thinks that that Russia is somehow Christian nation, they're not really. It's like, like if I would talk to like, th- in this case, Belarusian, like my my own parents, for example, um, they would they would feel that they're Christian. They would think that they would say that they would say that they're that they're Christian. If I would ask when when was the last time they went to church or or what exactly do you believe, I would find like twenty fucking contradictions even to their own Bible that they believe so much, in their own words, which would make them basically, like, uh, you know, incapable of, of reaching heavens or, or whatever they believe in. So it's just like a lot of, like, this paganism, really. That, oh, yeah, we believe in this just because we are afraid of it or afraid of the reper- repercussions if we don't believe in this. But truthfully, we believe in a lot of different fucking other shit as well. Don't kill. That's like one of the. I think like this is one of the things that you should be taking from the Bible, like you know, verbatim basically, and like just just learn it and never ever fucking do it or never support anyone who does this. And yet, if you would ask like a lot of Russians, a lot of Belarusians, even unfortunately, um, some of them do support Russians R- Russia's war against Ukraine. How can you justify supporting someone who goes to another land to kill people, innocent people? who just want to live a good life without this fucking retarded Russia. How can you justify it? And yet people in their brain somehow justify it. So what's fucking Christian about that? So Jordan Peterson doesn't fucking understand anything, really, about this particular topic, uh, for sure. So I'm going to leave those two articles. I'm going to leave the article. I'm going to leave the video so you can just take a look yourself. But um, yeah, basically, don't listen to this fucking person on anything Besides his like primary whatever shit he published on on his YouTube about cleaning your fucking flat and I don't know not being a lobster or whatever the fuck. Besides that, like he he's not as smart as, as you might imagine, and not as smart as you might imagine. Also, the next topic of our discussion once again we're starting fucking great this this episode.